so we have types of short stature based upon body proportions i have told you in one of the previous modules about the upper segment to lower segment ratio you know that upper segment is the sitting height from top of head to mid point of pubic symphysis that is upper segment and below that is your lower segment and the ratio begins as 1.7 to 1.9 ratio 1 at birth and becomes 1 is to 1 somewhere around 8 to 10 years of age this is something you already know so types of short stature based upon body proportion can be divided into two parts there can be proportionate short stature and there can be disproportionate short stature in proportionate short stature the upper segment to lower segment ratio is appropriate for age whereas in disproportionate the upper segment to lower segment obviously is not appropriate for age the causes of proportionate short stature the common causes they include conditions like constitutional delay in growth familial short stature so all physiological short statures are proportionate it includes nutritional short statures like malnutrition it includes conditions like nutritional in bracket you will write except rickets rickets does not cause proportionate short stature fourth it occurs in growth hormone deficiency and fifth you will find that these children uh, chronic illness children are found to have proportionate short stature then we have the disproportionate short stature disproportionate can be of further two varieties disproportionate can have short limbed short stature and short trunk short stature in short limbed short stature remember that the upper segment to lower segment ratio will be greater than expected greater than expected means at a certain age say normal child was having 1.3 ratio 1 but this child is having 1.8 ratio 1 so this is more than expected that will be producing short limbed short stature whereas short trunk will have upper segment to lower segment ratio less than expected for age what are the important causes here short limbed short stature is commonly seen in patients with rickets it it is also seen in untreated congenital hypothyroidism specially congenital untreated hypothyroidism it can occur in achondroplasia it can occur in turner syndrome whereas short trunk short stature that can be seen in mucopolysaccharidosis there is a type of mucopolysaccharidosis called as morquio disease it occurs in mucolipidosis it occurs in vertebral anomalies like hemivertebrae tuberculosis of the spine or carey spine and it occurs in spondylo epiphyseal dysplasias so these are the common causes of proportionate versus disproportionate and among disproportionate short limbed versus short trunk short stature now there is a very interesting thing mentioned in some of the textbooks if you go by op ghai it says that rickets is a cause of short limbed short stature right but Uh, there are other textbooks including textbook of pediatrics by dr suraj gupte and two of the nutritional text texts 
plus one review article they all say that some children rickets can also produce short trunked short stature so remember that rickets if you have to choose one it causes short limb short stature but it can in some patients it can also cause short trunk short stature so this can produce depending upon whether the central axis is involved or the peripheral limbs are more involved so you can have either type of disproportionate short stature in patients with rickets growth hormone deficiency usually has a proportionate short stature this is your need super speciality mcq already asked some years back please mention it as one of the one liners so this is the second classification of types of short stature subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from prep ladder